is Volcano Week as national parks along the West Coast promote visiting volcanoes and outdoor recreation. The Pacific Northwest is capped volcanoes with the, the last major eruption happening 42 years ago with Mount St. Helens. And in Washington, there are five, all of them posing a threat for eruption. Fox 13 News reporter uh, joins us now, Frankie Thompson, explaining why one of them is getting extra attention from state and federal scientists. Frankie? Jamie, state and federal agencies are trying to get more monitoring systems on Glacier Peak in Snohomish County. Scientists tell me there is no indication that there is new activity on the volcano, but should something happen, the extra tools would be life-saving from communities closest to the volcano. Glacier Peak is currently at a very high threat for eruption, the top classification of threat levels according to federal scientists. Currently, there is only one seismometer on the volcano to detect movement. You might ask why? Why is there only one seismometer at this volcano that is, is active and is a very high threat level? Well, it's, it's very remote. It is in the middle of, of a designated wilderness. Um, and beyond that, it is, the area around it is, is wilderness. So trying to get the data from the volcano out to a place where we can then download it and, and get it onto our computers is very difficult. Weston Thielen, a scientist with USGS Cascades Volcano Observatory, says the agency made a proposal to federal government. They're asking to replace the current seismometer and add four more. He says these tools are critical in collecting the most accurate data in motion. We really need a group of, of instruments not only seismometers, seismometers are, are good, but also instruments that help us understand whether or not the volcano is inflating or deflating. It's information that could be life-saving for the town of Darrington, only 20 air miles from Glacier Peak and in the Lahar hazard zone. Those new monitors would give us the adequate time to prepare our community to evacuate and create those mechanisms in the infrastructure that it, it means to um, get out of harm's way. With five active volcanoes in Washington, the state emergency management division says everyone should prepare an emergency kit with two weeks worth of food, water, clothes, hygiene products, and comfort items. This evacuation order or this evacuation recommendation even could come at the middle of the night. Um, you could have to wake up and immediately grab that bag and get out the door. For these Lahar zones, if everybody gets on the road, we've done this with modeling, if you drive, not everyone's going to make it out. So we recommend walking. You can practice these evacuation routes, practice walking them, go on a family walk. Emergency management suggests spending one hour per month preparing an emergency kit and practicing an evacuation plan. Scientists say they are encouraging comment from those who support and are against adding extra monitors to the volcano. They say the input will help them continuing crafting their proposal for these resources. Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.